Hey everybody, Sean here, and today we're going to continue with the series about two ways to share the gospel, law to the proud and grace to the humble. If you haven't seen those videos, you can watch them in the playlist, How to Share the Gospel. And special thanks to Amazing Aloha, who shared that when she is witnessing to Catholic people, they seem to want to argue about doctrine, especially on the foundation of their belief that the church was built on the first Pope, Peter. We're going to do a lot more detailed look at the problems with the Catholic faith in future, but today we'll address not only Catholics that like to argue, but anybody that likes to argue or change topics by asking questions about other things. Things. Remember that the mind is the place of argument and that pride is often the reason to argue. Mark Twain once said, never argue with a fool. Onlookers may not know the difference. And Proverbs 26 says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Not that all who want to argue are fools, but argument just to prove you're right and someone else is wrong is a waste of time. Being that I live here in the Philippines where most here are Catholic, I've had some heated discussions on topics where no amount of scripture or logic seemed to make any sense. One guy was furious because I wouldn't agree that Mary was sinless. Even when quoting scripture that all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, he actually yelled at me with his logic. And how could Mary have been anything but perfect to give birth to the perfect Christ Jesus? The biggest thing we have to remember about sharing the gospel with anyone is to keep on track and remember our goal. Only God can convict their spirit, and the law of the Lord is perfect in converting the soul. So we want to plant that good seed, help them understand what God sees as sin, that we are guilty and deserve punishment, and that only through Jesus can we be forgiven and saved. So regardless if it's a Catholic, an atheist, or anybody that wants to argue or change topics, keep your focus on the goal. For example, with someone who believes in the Big Bang Theory, you've rationalized with them that it's impossible for nothing to create something and ask them, so who created that explosion? And because they can't answer, they change topics and say, well, who created God? Don't get off track. Just say to them, hey, that's a great question. But first, let's answer the question I asked. Who created the Big Bang explosion? Or if you're witnessing and they throw in a comment like, you know Peter was the foundation of the church, right? Don't go down that rabbit trail. Just say, hey, that's a great topic of discussion that we can chat about in a moment. But let's get back to the question I asked first and then repeat your question. Or maybe they just randomly ask an off-topic question like, hey, what do you think about the flat earth theory? Once again, you're not obligated to answer their question at that time. Stay on track. Just say, yeah, that's a big topic these days, isn't it? Let's talk about that in a minute. But first, let's go back to the question we were discussing and continue sharing the gospel message from whatever point you were interrupted. As it says in Romans 10, How will they call on him if whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? Our job is to preach the good news, plant that seed of truth, and let God do the rest. Arguments fuel pride, not repentance. We will look at Catholic doctrine in the near future, but if you're in a hurry to learn more, Mike Winger has several in-depth videos on Catholicism that I would recommend. But for this video, remember to keep your message on track and that you don't need to argue or answer all their questions in that very moment. So, as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.